Remember that time when you were like, this is gonna be great. I'll work at my full-time agency job and build my private practice on the side. That way I'll have a steady paycheck coming in while I'm still building my practice. <laughs> uh. I see so many therapists attempt to build their practices while they're still working full-time at agencies. And a lot of them look like the walking dead. It's just so much to take on you guys. Now, if your agency is pretty low key, maybe you push papers around, you do some case management, or you keep a small caseload, then you can probably do both. Or maybe you actually work for an agency who gives a shit about you and doesn't make you carry a caseload of 60 plus clients. If that's the case, you've struck agency gold. Well done. But for the vast majority of you who are still trying to balance your full-time agency job while building your private practice, you're probably dancing on the edge of burnout and starting to wonder if you're ever gonna make it. You're probably also sick most of the time because your body hates you for not taking better care of it. So if you're doing both, working full-time and balancing building your private practice, I would guess that you've told yourself that you'll leave your agency job or at least go part-time once you're making as much in your private practice as you do in your agency. Sounds pretty logical, right? Except let's run the numbers, shall we? Let's say you make $600 a week at your agency job. Now, in order to make the same amount in your private practice, you may need to see six people a week at $100 per session. Just trying to keep the math easy here, people. So six sessions per week might look like one client a day or two clients a day, three days a week, or a full day on a weekend. So you work nine to five at the agency, usually busting your ass, seeing eight to 10 clients a day there, only to go straight to your office to see one or two more clients. Now, I don't know about you, I can guarantee you that if I saw a full day of clients at my agency job and then had to go see two more clients at night, those private practice clients would not be getting the best version of me. They'd be getting the tired, overworked, stressed out, and dazed version of me. Not so great for business, my friends. Unfortunately, I see so many therapists who kill themselves during the day and then have nothing left to give to their private practices. Then they wonder why it's taking so long to build or why they feel so exhausted all the time. It's almost like you're caught in a loop. You can't leave your agency until your private practice takes off, but it can't take off if you have nothing left to give to it, right? So look, I know you want to do this the right way so that you're not setting yourself up to fail. I also know that you're trying to do the responsible thing by keeping your steady paycheck coming in while you build your private practice. So I'm not saying that you can't build your practice while working full time. I'm also not saying that you have to quit your agency job in order to build your private practice. What I am saying is that working 50 or 60 hours a week at your agency and then seeing clients at night and on the weekends is not sustainable, at least not for long. So unless you wanna burn out before your practice even has a chance, you need to have a plan that's realistic. And at some point, you will have to take the leap of faith. So here's an idea. Instead of waiting until you're making as much in your private practice as you are in your agency to leave or go part-time, I want you to consider a different plan. While you're still working in the agency, start saving three months worth of living expenses in a savings account. I don't care if you use a portion of your agency paycheck or money from your private practice, but I do want you to get laser focused on this savings goal. Now, depending on where you live, that goal can be $3,000 or it could be $10,000. Whatever that number is for you, I want you to think of it as your freedom number because once you have it saved, you'll feel like you have a nice safety net as you begin to whole lash your private practice. Now, it could take a while depending on how much you need, but at that point, you'll also need to take a good look at the health of your private practice. If you're struggling to even get a few clients in the door, then you'll need to spend more time getting clear on your niche, your ideal client, and creating a website that kicks ass, as well as forming genuine relationships with other people in your community who need to know about you. Now, something really interesting happens when a therapist decides to take the leap into private practice. It's like once it becomes a reality and they have an official date to either leave their agency or go part-time, they find themselves suddenly having more energy to dedicate to their private practice. And then you know what happens? Their private practice starts to grow quickly. Now that's some woo-woo shit right there and I can't explain it, but I see it time and time again. So if you're struggling to balance your full-time job while building your private practice, I want you to pay very close attention to your body and any signs of burnout. We can manage working crazy hours for a month or two, but anything beyond that starts to have some pretty serious consequences. Also, come up with a plan that goes beyond just saying, 
I'll quit or go part-time once I'm making as much in my private practice as I do in the agency, because that's just recipe for burnout, y'all. Eventually, you have to take a leap of faith. So save up a few months worth of expenses, build a great foundation for your practice, and when you have a handful of ideal clients with calls still coming in, you'll know that it's time to take the leap before you burn out. So for those of you watching who took that leap, comment below and tell me when you knew it was time to leave your agency. See you next week. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click subscribe and visit us at yourbadasstherapypractice.com. I have a free four-part video e-course on taking your Psychology Today profile from bad to badass. Can't wait to have you join us.